Hello and welcome to another episode of CYC Around the World. Today we're going to be talking about some of the things that we saw and did in the capital city of Ethiopia, Addis Ababa. Now, what we have for you today is the way in which we interacted with these people, what we talked to them about, the things that we saw in their churches, some things that were so unbelievably different from what we see in our churches here in America, and so many other things that we learned and gained from this congregation of our brothers and Orthodox brothers and sisters in Ethiopia. As we walked through the city of Addis Ababa, we noticed many different things about the people and the country and the way in which they worshiped God that were very different than the way that we do it here in America. As we were walking, we noticed just standing outside of the churches, people would be kneeling in the, just in the very gate of the churches before even entering the church premises. People would be kneeling and praying and doing metanias right in front of the gate. And what we found out later is that the Ethiopian people have such an unbelievable awe for God that they won't even enter the gate of the church because of their feeling of unworthiness to enter God's presence, to enter God's house. Now, there were many times where we tried to enter a church and we were told that we weren't allowed to, that we were told that we couldn't enter yet because they didn't know us or because maybe they, they didn't know, know who we are. Yet when, there were some times that we did enter, and especially in the capital city, when we were allowed to enter the church, we saw things that are extremely different than the way that we do church now. And to be honest, they're things that I think that we can learn from. Uh, for one thing, once this liturgy begins, the church is sealed off. No one is allowed to enter, no one is allowed to exit. No one, there's no bathroom breaks, there's no nothing. The priest and the people are perfectly still in a way that I've never seen in my life. They are so aware of God's presence around them and in the church that they will not move for the duration of the entire liturgy. And we heard even that they have such an understanding of God's presence and of the saints' presence around them that they are scared to move lest they bump into one of the saints, lest they like nudge someone across from them. And it was really just fascinating to see this absolute and utter reality that God is in front of them and within them and just totally a reverent approach to the way that God is portrayed in their church. That is something that is truly, truly, and maybe I'd say lacking in our church. Because let's be honest, we take communion, we take the liturgy, we take our churches a little too casually sometimes. And what I came out from, uh, from being in Ethiopia is that it's time for us to revisit this um, God of awe, the God that we can bow down to, God that we can do a metanya to and praise and with, with utter and total respect. Let's take a look. As you saw, there was a number of things that we can really learn from from the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Their reverence for God, their awe, and their understanding of His presence in the church is something that is truly exemplary in their faith and their religion. 
it's something that I think that the Coptic Orthodox Church here in America may be missing and something that I truly benefited from by going to Ethiopia and seeing it for myself. Thank you.